street concert and now we are going to discuss a very simple at the same time very important question of d block elements that is why zinc cadmium and mercury are not considered as transition elements they are not called transition elements they belong to d block of the periodic table basically uh, uh, a general trend is a metal or an element which belongs to d block is a transition element but it is not the fact these three elements belong to the d block of periodic table still they are not called or considered as transition elements like if you remember there are 18 groups in the periodic table and from group 3 to group 12 is called d block and in this d block these three elements belong to the group 12 of the periodic table so they are at d block elements but they are not called transition elements why so first this thing is clear to us that every d block element is not transition element there is a specific criteria which an element must fulfill to become a transition element and what is that criteria according to the definition of transition elements that element or that metal which has incompletely filled d subshell either in its ground state or in its most common oxidation state is a transition element so for being a transition element or transition metal a metal must have incompletely filled d subshell that means it must not be d10 if we talk about zinc electronic configuration of zinc is 4s2 3d10 they are d10 similarly cadmium and mercury that means all the members of group 12 have electronic configuration ns2 n minus 1 d10 they are d10 they don't have incompletely filled d orbital but they have completely filled d orbital for being a transition element the d orbital or d, d subshell must not be completely filled so because they have completely filled d subshell they are not transition element but again there is one more question if we talk about copper the electronic configuration of copper is also 4s1 3d10 zinc is 4s2 3d10 they both are d10 but copper is considered as transition element while zinc is not why if you have a uh, go uh, listen my uh, statement the definition of transition element carefully it was the element which have incompletely fit d subshell either in its ground state or in its most common oxidation state okay is called a transition element now copper is d10 but copper 2 positive is 3d9 so if it has incompletely filled d subshell either in its ground state or in its most common oxidation state it will be called a transition element but if we talk about zinc zinc is 3d10 as well as zinc 2 positive is also 3d10 because the two electrons are removed from 4s so more technically it was 4s0 3d10 and this one was 4s0 3d9 so if a metal has incompletely filled d subshell either in its ground state or is in or in its ionic form it will be called a transition element but zinc same with the cadmium and mercury also they neither they don't have incompletely filled d, d subshell neither in it in their common state in, in their ground state nor in their ionic form so they are not considered as transition elements and they typically do not show any 
characteristic property of deep block element i'm sorry <laughs> now what are the characteristic properties of deep block element we'll discuss in the next video uh, i hope this was clear to you if not you can always ask in our comment section thank you